On to another big story this afternoon. Maryland Supreme Court justices heard pivotal arguments that could determine Adnan Saeed's freedom. WJZ investigator Mike Calgan is live in Annapolis with new reaction for us. Mike. This case involving a 1999 murder has gained worldwide attention. Justices heard oral arguments here today, but they're not going to make a decision right away. They could send Saeed back to prison. Adnan Saeed walked into the Maryland Supreme Court holding his mother's hand, his freedom on the line again, more than one year after his release for the murder of Heyman Lee. We're grateful for all the support that we've received over the past, um, over the past 24 years. Saeed spent more than half his life behind bars, arrested in 1999 for killing Lee, his Woodlawn High classmate, who was strangled and dumped in Baltimore's Leakin Park. Last year, a judge released him after city prosecutors successfully argued evidence about other suspects was never disclosed to the defense. Later, results of new DNA testing did not match Saeed. But Lee's brother, Young Lee, appealed, arguing he did not receive appropriate notice of the hearing and the judge prevented him from speaking in person. And he won. An appellate court reinstated Saeed's conviction. Now, Supreme Court justices must decide whether that was the right call. We do not take a position with respect to Adnan Saeed's underlying guilt or innocence. This is not what today was about. They say the case is about victims' rights and want Saeed's conviction to stand and a new hearing with their full participation to decide once and for all if he should be released permanently. This is an ongoing living memory to Hay. Justice should be served in this case. There has been a terrible injustice here with respect to Hay, principally. There may be another injustice with, re with respect to Adnan Saeed. That remains to be seen. Doug Colbert represented Saeed at his first bail review more than two decades ago. I've always believed in Adnan's innocence. I've always believed this was one of the greatest miscarriages of justice in our state. And to think that he has to go through another round in which he's placing his freedom in jeopardy, it's just, it, it boggles the mind. Saeed and his attorneys say they'll keep fighting. We're hopeful that the justices will choose to leave Adnan where he is, where he belongs, with his family. We believe very strongly in trying to find justice for Hay and her family. And we're just hoping also that we're able to find justice for us too. Now, a representative for Maryland's attorney general told justices today that the state does believe that young Lee's rights were violated. We'll continue to update you when the Supreme Court reaches a decision. For now, we're live in Annapolis. Mike Helgren, WJZ.